What's going on people, welcome to 137 Works, and today I thought I'd show you guys how to set up voice attack for VR in Assetto Corsa. So if you didn't see my video, I'll leave a link in the description below, but basically, long story short, I set up voice attack, which is a 30 euro program, I think, it's not free, I'm sure you can probably find ways of getting it for free on the internet, like anything else, uh, but I just bought it, it's 30 quid, I think, uh, but basically what it does is it, lets you, it allows you to basically set up, like you can type in what you want to say, and then it does a thing. So essentially what I have it doing in a set of course is I think I can show you the commands here. Yeah, so if I say, for example, lights, it presses the L key and holds it for 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, if I say replay, for example, it presses the left control and or keys. So you get the gist. It bring it like it correlates with what you'd have to press in the game and it does it in basically by voice um so yeah it's just something i found super useful in vr when you don't want to be like kind of fumbling around for keys you can kind of just press or you can kind of just say the words i like, could literally just say lights and your lights come on which is deadly in something like an mx5 or an ae86 when you want to see the pop-ups come up but you can't you don't want to go reaching around for keys uh behind your wheel or like reaching around your mic which is kind of what i have to do uh but yeah so basically i will just kind of get out of here and yeah, so buy voice attack, it's 30 quid, or don't, let that be your own kind of, you can do it after, you can decide for yourself how you want to get it. But yeah, once you have it, I'm pretty sure it's all good out of the box. Uh, basically, here's my kind of like standard settings I have at the start of, oh, no, I thought I had launch with Windows Start. Um, but yeah, start minimize, minimize the system tray, that, that kind of thing. Now, what you want to do is create a new profile which I did not do there. <laughs> you want to press this little weird combination of buttons here, which is to create a new profile. Create a new profile and call it, say, Assetto Corsa. And then that's good to go. Now, very simple. New command. Uh, let's say we want lights. So type in, when I say, check the box here. When I say lights, key press, and then just press the L key. It's that simple. Okay. Now, obviously I could go in game and show you, but like it's, it does what you'd imagine it would do. It literally will just, if I go into the game and I speak clearly and I say lights, with about with about half a second, a second or so's delay, the lights will come on. Um, I think the delay is there to stop you cheating in multiplayer games. If, that's just my guess. Like I, I was thinking about setting it up in uh, Battlegrounds, where if I say map, for example, it brings up the map super quick. But I think there's a delay there, so you can't just be like reload map, um, crouch prone, that kind of thing. Like you can't just completely gain an advantage by being able to say the things and have them happen instantly. Like so, yeah, that's essentially it. So. Another new command would be, say, when I say, um, again, menu. So if I say menu, and just that's as simple. Like, if you type in the words, the program kind of understands when you say a phrase that sounds like me, eh, n, you. It, the voice, the, the program just recognizes that. So then I, pre, that, so then I obviously, escape is the menu key in a uh, set of courses. Then it's the same thing for, like, control Control plus a key. So what is it? Uh, control or so if I say replay, replay. Sorry. Uh, control or so there you go. Replay menu lights replay all them basically just done, and then obviously now it's telling me I've already got a thing called a set of courses. So it doesn't offer you the option to overwrite, which is interesting. It just tells you to choose a different name. So obviously that's why it's showing me that because I already have a set of courses. But that's basically it. It's literally that simple. And then all you have to be doing, all you have to do, sorry, is be within reasonable range of your microphone and say menu, lights, exit, or whatever it may be, like whatever you decide to do. Um, you could set it up for one of the next plans that I have is to set it up for my turbo things so again like 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent all the way up to 100 percent so i'll say turbo 20 percent and it will set my turbo to 20 percent for example that's very handy very very useful so yeah that's about it very short video just thought i'd do it uh just for anybody that's that's looking for it it's the the, the reason actually that i got it was for uh, elite dangerous where again being in the uh being in the headset is the vr headset the oculus rift is particularly awkward in something like elite dangerous where you have a load of combinations and a load of different buttons to press where it's just it's just nice and easy to be able to say you know like landing gear like thrusters 100 percent thrusters 75 percent uh disengage or whatever whatever the case may be 
But uh, yeah, I just thought it was very interesting, a very useful program, and super helpful, particularly with VR. So if you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.